Hello, hello beautiful Taurus and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Taurus or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not a Taurus, I do trust that there is something in here for you. So please use your intuition, your discernment at all times. Um, I am a clairsentient, clairaudient, claircognizant. I also have the capabilities of visualizing energy and seeing energy. I'm going to walk you through your scrying channeled messages that I scribed for you on May 13th. Um, it's now May 16th that I'm doing your reading. There are no times on my readings, just, you know, um, they are timeless. You can watch them whenever. Um, so, sorry, I'm already in the stream of channeling. <laughs> Seeing someone's toes. Um, there's something about your toes. I don't know if someone recently injured their toe or stubbed their toe, but I'm getting the energy of your Earth Star Chakra. Okay, your groundedness, your root chakra. I know your root chakra is just below your um, um, the base of your spine, but there's something that is um, trying to anchor in right now through your body, and they're showing me your toes very specifically. I don't know why the toes, but I'm I'm reading this energy as um, you need to ground, okay? Um, anchor, anchor. It's almost like the toes are acting as these anchor to anchor into the earth. So you're trying to anchor in an energy right now. You're trying to bring something into materialization. Um, so I can see energetically right now for you. I'm hearing give it three to six months that this is for someone specifically trying to materialize. I don't know if this is money. If you're trying to materialize a home, if you're trying to materialize a job, like you're manifesting something quite tangible, um, that's going to fortify your foundation. Okay. There's something about fortification, um, your foundation to fortify something to solidify your life. Okay. Give it three to six months. Okay, um, Taurus, so um, you're scrying channeled messages, yes. Um, okay, I'm hearing Joe. Every time I want to get into your scrying channeled messages, I'm getting other spirits. I don't know what Joe wants to say. It's, um, it's a he. There's, it's a masculine energy. He's just kind of sitting there. It's very quiet, very shy. He's not on this earth anymore. He is transitioning into the spirit world, but um, he's just kind of sitting there. So I don't know. Some of, This is a loved one of yours that has passed. They're coming through as quite shy very quiet timid they just kind of they're just sitting there they're okay they're just sitting there i don't know that may mean something for someone out there um i'm getting something about their chest i don't know if they dealt with a health issue like congestion and it like they couldn't really speak Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving through into your um, scrying channeled messages, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Taurus. So uh, I started to receive energies um, and I heard the words believe and faith. And then I started to see an image of a signature that was being written on the dotted line okay so you could be physically signing something signing contracts getting into some kind of new agreements in your reality um but this also felt very energetic and if you've been following scorpio's reading and then the collective read and then the live reading that i did it all talked about one common theme of what do you want to experience? A lot of you have the frequency and the capability to amend your, your soul contracts. Um, I feel like I'm tapping into those people who can. Um, there's, um, I'm seeing the two of wands. So you're coming up to some kind of choice in your life in which you are currently contracting into something, into a new experience. So be, be attentive, excuse me. <laughs> 
be attentive to what you listen to and believe in, okay? Um, You're changing your mind or your subconscious mind has healed and is bringing in new energies for you to experience because your subconscious mind has released its patterns, okay? Um, I'm regarding, uh, so also like when I woke up this morning, I felt a persuasion, um, but it was not anything not anything necessarily outside of you like persuading you to um an external energy it was a persuasion that it was almost like the future persuading you to level up okay because i feel like you are like you're the bull right you are just going straight ahead you don't care who's in front of you right now like you're just you're just going for it and um i feel like your future energy is persuading you to level up um you have this like surge of discovery inside of you surge of energy inside of you that's just rising to the occasion interesting so you're rising to an occasion you feel it you may not understand what that occasion is or life event or milestone or achievement or goal or experience but you're rising up to the occasion okay taurus um it's interesting because your last three readings are connected uh very specifically your last three readings um i talked about may 15th in a reading two readings ago i believe it was it was like a birthday wish coming true in your next season and i channeled may 15th okay that's very important um because there was a shift yesterday for this group that i'm picking up on your last reading was about ancestral healing um and it was interesting because you you cut the chains cut the binds that you untethered yourself like you untethered the future from a pattern that you were experiencing in the past and in the present moment okay and we got into a lot of ancestral healing and generational curse cleansing um so that energy is now very very Um, it's prominent it's continuous because your future is freed from something and that's where I feel like this future persuasion is coming in Um, regarding love I heard now they know they want it very specifically in that way now they know they want it okay I don't know who this is for. It's a romantic connection. This could be someone in your past. This could be someone in the present moment that you're currently connected to. Maybe an on-off relationship. Maybe you're with someone right now. You're in a relationship. Take the love messages as they as you need. Um, I'm going to get a lot of different storylines and other messages when we get into that space, okay? There's also, um, when I wrote this, I wrote this very, very quickly. <laughs> I wrote your scrying messages very quickly, um, and it was at 6.20 p.m. That may resonate with you in some kind of way. Sorry, I heard a alarm, but it wasn't on this floor. Really odd. My hearing has been like, <laughs> like, like a dog. I can hear really far. I don't know. Okay, sorry. 6.20 p.m. There's something um, this year on June, um, June 2024. Um, There's also something about June 2020. I feel like there was some kind of like four years um, that you experienced. You experienced something for four years from June 20 to June 2024. Now, a lot, a lot to go through. So just bear with me here. When we get into cycles, people need to bear in mind that we experience a multitude of cycles simultaneously all at the same time. There are many facets of of cycles that we experience. Um, Think of it as like cycles within cycles within cycles and so on and so forth. So I believe it was the reading that I referenced in the beginning about the birthday wish or the one before that, I'm not sure, but there was an eight-year cycle that you were closing out. Within that eight-year cycle that you closed out or that you're closing out, whatever I referenced in that reading, you're closing out a four-year cycle from June 2020 and you're closing it June 2024. And I got a very specific date of June 22nd, which is a full moon in Capricorn. I don't know what this um, four years that you're closing out it seems very small. Um, it could be a karmic relationship. 
It could be karmic patterns. It could even be like a feeling or an emotion or a lesson of yours that you just kind of had and it lingered for four years and now it's releasing. Okay, so that feels, um, that came through in your space, but it's not going to be the prominent energy of your reading. Okay, so it, that's how I'm feeling. It may not be so present in your space. It may not have been in your awareness so much, but you were aware that it was there to some degree. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. So this was your scoring channeled messages. So again, like I channel everything. Um, and then we just get into the cards, which I'll get into now, but let me just say my thank you. All right. Thank you, Mother Anana. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your courage, your gifts, your presence, and your protection in this space today for myself and for Taurus Collective. Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown, for your blessings. And thank you for Taurus for allowing me to read for you today. I mean, there's something about my left hand. And now my left nostril is like um, watering and so is my left eye. Some of you are experiencing headaches, um, inflammation. Some of you could be going through like allergies. I'm seeing someone um, blow their nose. Yeah, my left eye is like starting to water. It's interesting because in Scorpio's reading, I was getting something about the right hemisphere. Now with you, I'm getting your left hemisphere of your brain. Okay. Oh, that's so weird. I've never felt like physical, physical symptoms to this degree. I mean, the last time I felt something with your knee, your right knee, or very specifically, now it's the left eye. There's, there's a spirit here. Um, that's showing me something about their brain. I don't know if it's this Joe, because now I'm sensing Joe again, but there's a loved one of yours who had passed away from a brain tumor, or a, they corrected me, uh, aneurysm, brain aneurysm. I think that's why I was experiencing like this sensation. Um, okay, interesting. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm all of a sudden just like, there's a lot of mucus in my body right now that I feel. Be conscious of that for some of you. I'm getting the letter P. Could be the beginning of someone's name. Okay, so what I feel like the most for you in this space is like you really feel like like you're rising up to the occasion. Like that's the energy I'm going to tap into for you because I, I can feel it. Okay, interesting. So you have three cards here that came out. Let me just look at the bottom because I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Wow. See, it's interesting because I was seeing a spirit just sitting. And here you have uh, number 43. It says inner life. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. And she's just sitting there. And then at the bottom of that is um, moving forward. Sorry if I'm shaking. There's a lot of energy. But you have here home. Renewal and false beliefs. Okay, this one is really powerful for you. It says, once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. Once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations that they confine us to. See, this is this is the 
the start or the end of your previous reading because your previous reading was all about unbinding yourself to that to those limitations to those false beliefs that can find you in that space because you release them you could be going through this release right now It's interesting because I feel like I just heard, I just heard, I like it here. When I looked at this card, once I placed it down, I heard, I like it here. This is your future. Your future is, your future is persuading you right now to level up. That's what you're feeling. You're, fe you're, you're feeling your home. You, you ever feel like whenever you go out or like you travel and you're just like oh my god i like, can't wait to go home like it's the safe space it's the safe haven that's in the present moment your future is holding the same kind of frequency of a home it's this um it's a safe haven it's a safe haven in which these false beliefs are not present they're not active in that space they're not active something is no longer active in your home but the way i'm feeling this home energy is in the future i know you have a home i know home is always in the present i understand that but there's something that you're cultivating for your future you're you're remember when i was like you're trying to someone was trying to set something up some kind of fortification, some kind of foundation, like it's all being, um, what is that? What did I just hear? I heard conjured. It's all being conjured. It's all being regenerated in, in the future. It's being regenerated. So what you're experiencing right now is decay. In your present moment right now, you're sensing, you're feeling the decay of these false beliefs. You're That's also what I was getting in your previous reading. It's so fascinating how they connect. Because in your previous reading, I felt like a veil being... Um, and I can feel the sensation again of like this veil being removed from you as if like, you know, covers are being removed. You can, whenever you feel someone removing the covers off of your body, you can feel the sensation of something leaving you. You're sensing the decay of these false beliefs in that fashion. It almost feels like a veil and then another veil. It's like layers of decay right now. And the regeneration, the renewal aspect is sitting in this home in the future that you're fortifying. And that's why it's like this future frequency is persuading you to level up. Like there's something that you know you have to push through. There's something that you know right now that you just have to go through, that you have to do. And I feel like that's why I was seeing this, this beautiful spirit, Joe. Is that a short form? Why am I hearing that? I'm hearing Joe Joe feel. Who? I'm um, sorry. I need to look this up. I'm sorry. I think this is an archangel. It is. And now they're sirens. Wow. Joe Feel is a true archangel of love and beauty, and is known as one of the most beautiful things in all of creation. Archangel Jophiel means beauty of God. Wow. The Archangel Jophiel's gifts include inspiring beauty, creativity, understanding, and positive thoughts. And that's why there's this decay of, of false beliefs. Okay. Okay. Let's um 
Let's shift here. And as, you know what's so fascinating is I did this membership reading yesterday. And again, I, I kept referencing Taurus, 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 because I can feel like your energy so heavily in that space. Actually, I, I felt your energy for like about a week. And I remember we had a message for you and it was all about no longer putting your dreams on the back burner to make other people around you comfortable or to take care of others. I know you're such a selfless spirit, but it's almost like your inner world was in a dormant state is something that I'm seeing here, but there's something inside of you that's activated right now. And that's what I feel like your future is persuading you to like, come on Taurus, let's go. You're no longer projecting broken dreams into your reality. You are projecting dreams that are coming alive. And in order for those dreams to come alive, the true belief system of who you are, your true energies need to be renewed. And your future frequency is persuading you, to, like, you can do it, Taurus, like, come on, level up, level up, because we like it here. We like it here. Trust that it's, we like it here. There is so much decay right now. And I understand that that may be a really hard thing to witness and to feel and to go through. I'm getting a lot of emotions now. I'm getting a lot of like pleasure. Like you're about to feel a lot of pleasure. Okay, something popped out and then it went back in make a wish see that's the thing it's like you made a wish and you're just like never mind you had a dream never mind it's 12 13 but that's where i was feeling like you're changing your mind and your subconscious mind has healed right has healed those false beliefs but there's something that's like activating right now and it's a wish it's a dream of yours and you believe in something that you didn't believe in before you have faith in something that you didn't have faith in before that's why that wish card hesitated because you're building up the faith in your inner world you're building up the belief system right now in your inner world please understand that that is energy and that is fuel for these dreams to come alive and be projected into your reality and something tells me that they're already projecting Maybe you're doing it nice and slow. There's something, again, remember, I'm like, you're pushing, you know that you need to be pushing through something right now. What are you pushing through? You're pushing through false beliefs. That's what you're pushing through. Something, again, hesitated. Eat your words. Oh my God, see, look at that. It says rude, judgment, doubt. I'm telling you, these false beliefs. Okay, what came out was hothead. Interesting, number 16. Can I please say something? Feel your rage. Feel your rage. Feel it. If you're angry, be angry. If you're sad, be sad. If you want to scream, scream. Because this is decay. I just got chills. This is decay. You're just like, you're, you know what's interesting? Because this beautiful spirit right here, this, I was saying Joe, right? And then here you have jaw, jaw feel that shifted because I'm like, is that short form? And I know archangels don't necessarily, they don't have like genders. 
but I feel like this is an Archangel Jophiel or something like that. Because I keep seeing this, this, this spirit, this angel just sitting. I feel like I, I, like this, this is the beauty, right? It's like you're creating a beautiful garden right now. Because um, this card says your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. Your inner life. And as within, so without, right? That's We understand that. You're cultivating your, in your, your garden right now. And Archangel Jophiel is in your space gifting you these gifts of of beauty and courage and positive thoughts but please don't get consumed with like bypassing yourself i don't want you to sit there and force positive thoughts in your space i want you like you're being encouraged by the divine to feel your rage to, to because this this is a decay this is what's going to release these false beliefs feeling feeling your emotions feeling how something made you like going through the emotions of how some kind of experience made you feel it could be what had occurred for those four years something that may have started in 2020 for some of you guys it could be something else Oh my god, I just stopped shuffling or I don't know, it make a wish. This is you. This is you feeling inspired to wish again, feeling inspired. You know what this is? This is a renew this is a renewed wish. This is a renewed wish. This is number 25. What you're cultivating is something very, I just, I saw the boundaries card and I didn't take it, but now I'm seeing the nine of wands. What you're cultivating, this foundation that you're cultivating is, is for sustainability is for sustainability. I, I placed the wish card underneath the home card it's for sustainability home foundation security for long term this isn't like temporary this is like you're setting yourself up and that's why this future frequency of yours is really persuading you to level up is really persuading you to rise up to the occasion Because your past self, your present self, and your future self know very well that this shit is not temporary. That what you're cultivating right now is for something long ass term, okay? And I gotta say it like that. <laughs> is long term. And maybe that's where like that hesitation was. Or this hothead energy where something like flares up and it kind of just like diminishes or like you make a wish, you feel really excited about it and then you don't anymore. You have something and then you don't anymore. You want something, never mind, I don't want it anymore. I'm just going to be quiet, wallflower. I got to make people comfortable. I got to go help. I have to do this. Selfless. For some of you, it's like that. It's the selflessness, okay? Because you have to take care of everyone else. For others of you, it's that and false beliefs. For, for some of you, it could be just false beliefs, okay? You may resonate with this in different ways. Whatever has been the block for you, it's surrounded by these false beliefs. 
you know what's interesting? It's like, yeah, supports your future is supporting you right now. And this is 2025. So I'm telling you, it's something like it's starting now, but I feel like in 2025, it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and fortify for the years to come. Like I'm also seeing here 2027. Okay, like it's gonna it's gonna keep going. You also have here manifest your miracle. That's what you're doing. I was gonna say, like, I'm feeling that for some of you, this persuasion with these false beliefs came from because now I'm seeing the shadow side of it. It came from external forces or it came from the subconscious mind and what you experience, your traumas, your wounds, your past could even be extended down into the past lives, down into the past lives, back into the past lives, excuse me. You know what's really interesting that I'm seeing here? Your false beliefs, they don't support you anymore. It's like your false beliefs could only take you so far. And this is true. This is true. Your false beliefs only take you so far. But now you know in order to level up, in order to get to where you need to get to, in order to fulfill that dream, no longer have broken dreams, in order to fulfill this wish and manifest your miracles and go to where you feel like you deserve to be, those false belief systems cannot support you to get there. This is about your truth now. This is about living in Taurus's truth. The regeneration is what's going to support you now. Your future, the persuasion of, of your future frequency is what's supporting you now. You have Archangel Jophiel, Joe, who is also supporting you now. You are also the support system supporting your garden and the inner world that you are building and thus cultivating your home, your reality that you're going to be bathing in. There's like new support systems that are coming in for you. Old support systems are exiting, new support systems are coming in. Because you're ready to accept these new support systems. Some of you, you're ready to accept help. And help comes in various ways. We receive in many various ways. We receive energetically most of our days. The universe responds. We just have to look for it you have to open our eyes and something tells me that your eyes are open your eyes are open taurus let me get into this deck and then um i'll get into other messages i'm gonna get into other messages okay let's get into other messages please for taurus You know what's interesting is like people get afraid of their power because their power comes from darkness. Their power comes from the shadows. And sometimes when you scream, when you yell, when you just want to just like cry and feel it, it feels like this. And people get afraid because they think, well, shouldn't I be light and, and you know, airy and short? But you want that, you want that depth, you want that fuel. It's in places that a lot of people don't like to remember, don't like to venture in. You know that you have to go through something and this is you going through it. The decay of the false beliefs. The decay of the broken dreams is giving life and renewal and regeneration to the dreams that are 
now coming alive and that are supported by divine abundant energies within self and the universe and archangels and spirit team <laughs> i keep seeing um so it's interesting um okay some of you are your your palmistry uh gift you have a gift of reading palms um but i keep seeing so in yesterday's reading the membership reading i got two three four um which is to me every sequential number is um like sequential numbers are process like it's a process is something is unfolding everything is going as planned um everything is in order like things like that um and i'm still getting it here in your space you have 42 43 and 44 things are and i i just saw 42 42 Things are going as planned, according to plan. The pendulum decision. I mean, y you and Scorpio sparked this collective message. The new moon in Taurus is all about, the one that we just had, is all about what do you want to experience? And the decision is in your hand. You're supporting some kind of decision here. You're supporting some kind of decision. <sighs> okay, some of you are looking to move. You're thinking about moving cities or countries or towns or jobs, but you're looking to place yourself physically somewhere else. You're making a decision about it. Okay? You're making a decision about it. You're not going to make the wrong choice. Wow, abundance. See, I'm telling you, what you are creating for yourself, alchemy at the bottom, what you're creating for yourself is abundance. But again, abundance is whatever you make it. Abundance comes in many forms. And this is what I feel like you are looking for a continuous flow of abundance. You, you are deciding right now what your abundance looks like. And I feel like you're being super particular because, honey, it's a spell. And something tells me it's an effortless spell. Because as soon as you release those false belief systems and you start to live in your truth and really understand what you desire, just like that. Just like that. Some of you recently got a, a like a professional um, uh, personal reading from someone. Doesn't have to be me. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Um, but some of you like just got some kind of guidance from an oracle, um, a tarot reader, a priestess, like you just received some kind of guidance. Okay, pay attention to that. Okay, last one. And then we'll get into other messages here. And then your love for Taurus. Interesting. I love the hesitate. I love when cards hesitate knowledge the book interesting so this came out again yesterday yeah you were all over that membership reading some of you you're okay mm. some of you are hesitant on a book that you're writing some of you are hesitant on the guidance that you received some of you are hesitant about the knowledge that is come you're downloading information right now okay the, when the false beliefs release and you start to feel the, the I, I literally just realized that I wrote that, <laughs> believe and faith. So that's the card that came out. Very interesting. I just recognize that. Um, but when your false beliefs decay and you start to have this newfound belief and faith and then information, downloads of information... It's going to feel so different 
that you're going to have to get acquainted to the truth. And sometimes when we get acquainted to the truth, it takes us a little bit of time to get accustomed to it, to believe it. Because you were in false beliefs for so long, now you're believing this. Is this real? Is this true? That's why that hesitation of knowledge in the book, that's where that hesitation is coming from. Okay, interesting. Some of you, spirit speaks to you and, and um, there's a spirit around you that sends you coins. That's a, that's a message from spirit. That's spirit, a loved one telling you like, hey, we're here. If you see coins, it's, um, it's, a, it's a divine messenger, okay? If you start to see coins, this is also going to be a good omen of, of abundance, Okay, interesting. Spirit is saying, uh, for you, for this group that I'm specifically channeling for, you're going to start to see coins on the floor. Like you're just going to find random coins. Those are going to be your omens of confirmation for the materialization of your dreams and your wishes. They're saying it's part of the spell. It's part of the confirmation of the spell of the alchemy that you're effortlessly doing right now. Okay, so you're going to start to see coins. I mean, dreams, message, feathers, I just said that. We were just talking about the coins as a message from spirit, as an omen. It could be feathers. Um, I'm getting the color brown, not white. Brown. If you start to see brown feathers and coins, it's an omen of confirmation of the materialization of your dreams. We, we just said that in dreams and feathers came out to confirm that. Okay, interesting. I'm getting a message about you're making a decision in your dreams. Some of you, okay, I've never had this message before. Some of you do spells in your dreams. Okay, this is an ancient technique. So for some of you, um, you could be a dream walker. Um... You may be like you, there's something here very effortlessly that you do. Like other people, it takes some, like they really have to train. They really have to like, but you like easily master it. Yeah, master. I remember, I I saw that. I saw that master. That's, an, that's powerful. There's a, there's something that you effortlessly do that other people like have a really, like they need to train and, and learn to do, but you, you have a natural ability here. And I feel like it's something to do with your dreams. This could be something that you've always known. This could be something new that you're going to come into. Okay. This is a key. The false beliefs decaying is the key to unlocking um the spells that you do in your dreams that's crazy i've never heard that before never heard that before i usually can't talk about ancient magic but this one is is coming through so what did i say astral projection dream walkers you have an ancestor line of 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 dream walkers some of you are um Native, indigenous, and you know your roots are indigenous. You know, you, you know. I'm, I'm just hearing. They know. You know. Wow, that's. I. I, I think I want to channel that after the reading. I want to know what this is. That that's that's incredible. That's fascinating.
I want to like, I'm not going to channel it here, but there's some um, other spells here that you effortlessly do to bring in this abundance. Okay, what other messages are we getting here, please? And then we'll shift into love. Ace of Wands. I mean, <laughs> I mean, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, we're going to get into love. We're going to get into love. They're getting it. They're getting into love. If other message comes through in love, I will voice them. Um, but I'm going to have the intention to focus on love messages here. We have here the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So in um, the scrying channeled messages, I received for you that now they want it. Now they want it. And that's interesting here that I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands because it's like you're flipping a book and all of a sudden you see a rose, a flower that comes to life while you're in the middle of something. And you're looking at the rose like, it's like now they want it. Out of nowhere, now they want it. Okay, Ten of Cups. If you're with someone, they may be making a decision that you have already come to the decision of making and you're waiting for your partner to kind of get there is something that I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, it could be pertaining to a home or like deepening the bond or deepening the connection. Or you may feel like energetically your person is like, I don't want to say like they're lagging behind, but energetically and vibrationally, I feel like you both are a really good match, but it may feel like you come to con conclusions or you come to decisions or you come to confirmations or validations of things that you feel a lot quicker than they do is something that I'm seeing here. Okay. You know what? Actually, let me use, let me continue with this one. I'm sorry. Let me continue with this one. I'll use this in just a moment. That's wh that's why I'm I'm hearing like now they know they want it. It's that confirmation and validation. Thank you, Spirit. I was like, why did I get that <laughs> message? And they're like, you just said it. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So I feel like you guys are with someone that you come to conclusions and confirmations and val validations of like the things that you know about this connection or that you know about this person and this person like is now getting it now they know that they want it now they know that this is what they desire now they know that they're meant to be here now they know now they see the confirmations now they see the signs now they see the signs this this just shifted for me excuse me getting tongue-tied this just shifted for me this could be them kind of you know um minding their own business and then all of a sudden they're just like oh yeah oh yeah now now it's like right in their face now they know page of pentacles page of pentacles Yep. High Priestess at the bottom. Queen of Cups there. Okay. This is what I needed to see. Let's shift here. See, now, again, it's not... I'm sorry if I keep repeating, but that's the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. See, they're opening their eyes here, four of water. They're opening their eyes to the possibilities, four of, four of water, four of cups. Once they open their eyes to the possibilities, to the validations, to the confirmations, it's going to confirm something that your intuition already knows, and it's going to confirm something that their intuition was trying to tell them, okay? Okay. I'm seeing someone with a koi fish tattoo. I'm seeing someone who has hands tattoo or they may have a neck tattoo.
I'm seeing someone who gives you flowers. Or is about to give you some kind of flower. Some kind of gesture here with the Page of Pentacles. A gesture of love. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This is very loving. This is very, very, very loving. They don't want to miss an opportunity. Yeah, the Empress. It's it, it's it's beautiful. You know what this also says? Give birth to your dreams. And we were talking about that in your spiritual growth portion. So that's confirmation. Lavish abundance. And you had the abundance card as well. This is also, this came up again. You were all over that membership reading. Um, some of you, this is uh, pregnancy, but this is also new beginnings, okay, new beginnings, but it's not just a cycle that is starting. This feels like here with the page of pentacles, this feels like a very lavish and abundant new cycle that you're starting with this person. It's very abundant. So it may be like over the top romance or like more love or more i don't know it, it just feels like more emotions more gratitude more actions i'm the emperor staring at me here you could be dealing with an aries pisces capricorn uh i saw pisces yeah there's pisces again yeah see listen to your intuition have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. That's, you have here the high priestess twice. Um, I'm getting something about March 22. Sorry, March 2022. My apologies. Um, you could have met this person in 2022 or something may have occurred in 2022. Okay, where you like really had to have patience. I don't know if some of you wanted to like give up on it, give up on this situation. Um, you didn't think that this situation would grow any further. You may have felt very discontent in the past with this person or with this connection. Um, you may have felt like you missed an opportunity or this person missed an opportunity with you. I'm hearing like something happened, occurred that triggered that in um, March, very specifically March of 2022. But again, that's just like, listen to your intuition. So I feel like you had the patience. You already came to the, again, you already came to the conclusion. You're just waiting for this person. Yeah, the lovers at the bottom. <laughs> Intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions and good health. Okay. So this is confirming that this is. Um, sorry, I'm getting the year 2026. Someone's going to have a baby in the year 2026. I can feel it. Some of you, you know that you're going to have a baby with this person. Some of you are high priestesses. You're powerful high priestesses. You're seers. You do spells like you, you're ancient mystics, witches, you know your you you know something. See that th that's the thing. Like you know something, and you're just like waiting for them. But they're be they're beautiful and they're powerful too. Um, you're gonna have you know. There's something about having a child with this person that you know about. I feel like um, it, it's gonna happen in 2026. For those of you that that's a huge confirmation for you. I love that the, the high priestess is here um, twice because you almost, I'm getting the, the energy that you almost did give up on this person. You really did. You almost gave up on this person. I'm also seeing the number 422. There is someone here that's worried about their health. You do have your Archangel Raphael, who is the divine physician of the heavens, um, here to kind of assure you that there is good health, that you're, um, 
the health concerns are over stress. Like your stress is causing health concerns. Again, always go to the doctor if you feel like genuinely something is wrong. But I am seeing here Archangel Raphael's number is 422 if you need to commune with him, talk with him, um, get your own confirmation. 422 is Archangel Raphael's number. That's a message that really needed to come through for someone. I'm seeing that for those of you that tried, like you almost gave up on this person or just you gave up on the connection, you received some kind of confirmation. You got a psychic hit. And I, for some of you, it was um, some kind of dream. It was some kind of dream that confirmed something to you. Or you received some kind of feeling to not give up. Some kind of psychic hit that made you listen to your intuition. Like, no, you know what? I think I just got to be patient here, right? Have patience. Okay, because the Ten of Cups is here. Someone may also have a mustache or like a beard. Someone wears hats or like beanies a lot. I think that's the right terminology. Beanies like the. Someone's 44 years old. Well, you, you're getting a lot of archangels here. Like one, two, three. This is the fourth one. Excuse me. You have here release. As I sneeze, Archangel Azrael, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. Yeah. Yep. With the sun, Archangel Uriel. Wow. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success and have confidence in yourself. And we had here release. I think earlier, no, we had renewal. Regeneration begins with decay and you have this uh, release. See, you are starting a new phase with this person. This person is going through a um, spiritual transformation and I feel like you're watching their spiritual transformation. Whether you are in a relationship with them, whether you are on off with them, whether you are just dating or speaking to them, however you may resonate with this, you are witnessing their spiritual transformation. You're witnessing them move on. You're witnessing them move. Not move on from you, but moving on from what they're releasing, moving on from what they are healing, okay? And what you're experiencing together is this new phase. That's why you feel like here you didn't give up or you feel like you shouldn't give up. I just saw like something. I don't know if that was me. <laughs> the dreamer. You you have here dreams. Um, I keep referencing dreams with you. And here you have the dreamer again. Another archangel. The, this is not an archangel deck. I don't. There's so much um archangel supporting you at this time you have here dreams twice but i keep referencing dreams it says a leap of faith follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities okay yeah so there is some kind of end of a difficult situation some of you could be recovering from a an addiction this person could be recovering from an, an addiction but you're being guided to embrace the change that is happening right now within this connection and expect things to get better now. Okay, that's what's taking place here. I kind of want to tap into these unexpected opportunities. I feel like this person will reach out to you if you are, again, like in this on-off connection. Um, if you're resonating with this story. I feel like if you are in a relationship with them, you're really witnessing their change and things are going to get better. You're going to move into a new cycle with this person. 
I want to tap into other messages and what are these unexpected opportunities? Can we know more about these unexpected opportunities? Because remember, you're no longer projecting broken dreams. You are projecting dreams that are coming alive. So this again is confirmation of what we channeled earlier. They don't always um, let me see. But I'm in Taurus energy, right? I am determined. I'm in Taurus frequency right now, spirit. <laughs> we are determined to know <laughs> if we can. So interesting. Is this here sleepless nights? And then you have the dreamer. You have here the nine of air. Self-fulfilling prophecies and expecting the worst. Okay. This is what we talked about earlier with those false beliefs. All right. I feel like this is what's shifting for you. You may be experiencing sleepless nights right now. You may be worried, expecting the worst when it comes to this relationship, this connection, and expecting the worst in your life. But if if this is if this comes up for you go back to the beginning of this reading because those false beliefs they're they're that's what's clearing up for you very specifically so not only is this person going through a spiritual transformation but so are you I feel like this is what's shifting for you. But for some of you, like you don't expect the unexpected opportunities. It, there's something about you not believing in that. You have here the Ten of Earth. It says a very happy family life financial security and finding magic in the little things in life and what did we talk about in your spiritual growth message that you are setting your life up this is not temporary this is long term and here you have the 10 of earth which is all about longevity financial security It's, it's almost like spirit right now is like using me as a messenger, right? You have the feathers message earlier to say like, Taurus, everything's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Your wish comes true at the bottom of the deck and you have here make a wish. So that's here twice. Concerns fade away a love of life that's what i was also feeling with this person like you're entering a new phase in this connection and it's just gonna feel like really abundant in love it's gonna feel so lavish but it's like that's how potent the energy is between the both of you see your concerns are gonna fade away i'm telling you this is what i feel the concerns of the nine of air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, the sleepless nights, and not believing, the false beliefs, all of that is going to fade away. I did a reading for you a while ago, and I didn't reference it because I didn't feel its thread of connectivity, but now I kind of do feel it. It's like you're going to see proof of something. You're going to see proof of a manifestation and you're going to hold on to that proof you're going to hold on to that evidence and you're not going to let that go and that's the very thing that you're going to keep pulling and pulling and pulling and what you're pulling is the future frequency that is persuading you to level up because you're seeing something some kind of evidence some kind of proof that it's tangible okay You have here the night of fire. This is about passion. I feel like this is going to happen quite suddenly. You're being asked to, to have more self-assurance and to be adventurous at this time. 
okay? Um, I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys so very much, Taurus. I am open for personal readings. Um, everything is in the description box down below with my website. Memberships are also open on the channel. Um, there's two tiers. The first tier is just to support my channel. Um, and the second tier, I give you, um, weekly readings every Wednesday. I love you guys so very much. I hope that you found that this was helpful and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.